I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time Bullshit, Dad. 
This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. Hell, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that Mac, you were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not you? That's it. Wait over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Yeah, well, sort of. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Until he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... actually kept it.
just need a minute. Yeah, uh, no problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Uh you're the worst! Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor! Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Her sadness is so strong. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. I need to find out why Steph is so upset. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so.
So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Wait, hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, Strip socks! Ah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Well, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know, Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Who's what? Damn it, you're on to me.
Much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call. <laughs> 